I'm Greg Chappell and this is my Masterclass. One of the critical parts of batting is to actually see the ball leave the bowler's hand. Everyone's been told to watch the ball, but I'm not sure every player understands what watching the ball means. When I was in form, I saw the balls leave the bowler's hand and my field of vision was the size of the bowler's hand with the ball in it. I think a lot of players that I've played with and against and even coached looked in the general direction of the bowler, but their field of vision was the size of the side screen. And all of a sudden the ball appeared out of it. And that could be halfway down the pitch before they picked the ball up. If you're batting against one of the fastest bowlers, it's going to take about half a second to get from his end to your end. And it takes you about half a second to make a decision. So it's too late if you're picking the ball up halfway down the pitch. It's really important to train yourself to see the ball leave the bowler's hand. For me, what I wanted to do was engage with the bowler at the top of his run up. I would watch his face as he ran up because that gave me my peripheral vision could pick up the rest of his body and I'd be picking up clues as he actually got into his load up. But as he got into his load up, my vision went from his face to where the ball was going to come from. And as I say, the field of vision was only as big as the ball itself because the angle at which it leaves the hand gives you a lot of clues about length and how it leaves the hand can give you an indication of what else is going to happen once it leaves the bowler's hand. The other thing that not many people understand is that you don't physically follow the ball all the way from the bowler's hand. Once it leaves the bowler's hand, the brain makes a decision that this is either full or short and then cascades ahead to where it thinks the ball is going to land and you pick it up again. But actually seeing the ball leave the bowler's hand is critical. And that's what you need to train yourself to do.